First up, our top focus story. This is about Rahul Gandhi. His U.S. visit already has triggered multiple controversies, one after the other. Amidst his statement on Sikhs, turbans, and his definition of God, the latest act of the opposition leader that has provoked fury back home here is Rahul Gandhi's meeting with the U.S. politician Ilhan Omar. Now, that is the lady that you see on your screens highlighted for you. Omar was a part of a delegation of the U.S. congressman who met Rahul Gandhi, and the BJP was quick to highlight just why the pair sharing a frame may have been problematic for India by citing Ilhan Omar's long history of India baiting. Now, let's take you through why she's so controversial and why so many eyebrows are being raised when viewed from an Indian lens. She is currently a U.S. House of Representative member from Minnesota, belonging to the Democratic Party. She was born in Somalia. She came to the U.S. when her family took asylum there. She is known to have taken numerous positions against the country, that is India, generally owing to her espousing an anti-Islamophobic position in her politics. She also took Canada's side in India's diplomatic face-off over the Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar's killing. Most importantly, she has opposed India over the abrogation of Article 370 and also Kashmir. She's even visited POK as a part of an allegedly park sponsored delegation that violated India's sovereignty. And the list is long because she also boycotted Prime Minister Modi's address to the U.S. Congress just about last year. Let's... I am the future that was born a hundred years ago. I am the purpose that emerged with India's independence to be a force for business that makes doing good our business towards an independence where knowledge sets us free to think big and achieve bigger towards a future made perfect and be a force creating abundance because independence is not a moment in history. It's a never-ending path to prosperity. Aditya Birla Group, a force for good.